I'm Teo Torres. Here's a look at the big stories we're following for you today. And a man who was barricaded inside of a Sacramento County garage has been arrested after more than 12 hours. We told you about this yesterday. This is off Jacinto Avenue and Calvine Road. Police say the man is suicidal and fired a gun at one point. He finally surrendered around 7 last night. There were no reports of anybody else in the home. Well, the first hospice facility for homeless people on the West Coast will break ground in Sacramento today. Joshua's House Volunteer Hospice will be located in Natomas and provide no cost end of life care to terminally ill homeless people. It will include five ADA compliant homes to house 15 residents. There are plans to add more in the future. That groundbreaking is taking place at 1030 this morning. Also, results from yesterday's primary election are still trickling in for some races. We take a live look into the election ballot tabulation room at Sacramento County Election Headquarters. No one in the office right now after a very late night of counting, but workers are expected to start the process again at 8 a.m. Let's get a check on the forecast. Here's meteorologist Melanie Hunter. Good morning. Yesterday, a lot of us got into the low 90s, and now we have a pretty comfortable start. So we've cooled off to the low 60s in most spots, still holding on to the upper 60s for some of those foothill locations. But even in the Sierra this morning, it's running a little bit warmer in the 40s. There's just a light breeze in place through the valley. Breezier conditions as you step outside in Fairfield. And here's how today is going to go. We're going to get back in the low 90s range, so we'll warm up again pretty quickly back in the low 80s by noon. And Eventually this afternoon we might be a degree off of yesterday's highs before the Delta breeze kicks back in later on this evening, helping to drop our temperatures back into the 70s too. All right, and that's a look at what we're following today here on KCRA 3.